Jimmy White. Best of 35 frames. The first seven frames in this afternoon's session, a further nine frames tonight. Now, before we join Clive Everton and John Spencer, we'll go uh, backstage at the Crucible for the start of proceedings. And now to the players, ladies and gentlemen, a household name who's had a love affair with the snooker public for many years and who could deny this fabulous star another opportunity to become king of the world. Ladies and gentlemen, on to centre stage will you welcome the world number three, the whirlwind of London town, Jimmy White. <laughs> his opponent, one of the big success stories, the history of snooker, and at 23 years of age, he's won everything the game has offered, and this brilliant young Scott is attempted to win the title for the second time in three years. Will you welcome into the final, the world number one from Scotland, Stephen Hendry. And so the referee, John Street, will call the players together for the traditional pre-final photographs with the great old 65-year-old trophy. The original trophy, paid for out of the entry fees from the first ever championship. <coughs> this is the Crucible. This is our Wimbledon, our Cup Final, our Twickenham. Thank you, this ladies and gentlemen. The first frame. The fight for the championship. Jimmy White to break. A very canny opening safety exchange from these two brilliant potters and brake builders. Still, neither player has risked opening the bunch more in an attempt to get the cue ball behind the green and brown, which have drifted together.
Well, this red is potable, but certainly not as easy as it looks on the screen there. Very fine cut indeed, this. One. One, Stephen Henry. Rolling behind the green in such a way as to make White play into the bunch from the more dangerous side. It looks as though Jim is trying to rest against the red behind the blank, but this is a very dangerous shot. And that's brilliant. <laughs> Marvellous defensive safety shot. And White said after the match yesterday that he was very pleased with the way that his safety game came together in the latter stages of his semi-final against Alan McManus. He felt that that was the only element which had been lacking. Hendry fails with a difficult red to the middle. And that's the first real mistake of the match so far. Obviously a lot of pressure out there, but this is certainly a chance for Stephen. One. Wow, is the adrenaline <coughs> pumping just a bit too fast? Henry overhit that one. One, Stephen Hendry. 